Okay, welcome back. Uh, today is a demo of org side tree, which is a useful package if you have a large uh, or even you know, semi-large org buffer that you're working on with a lot of headings and subheadings, and you want to get an overview and have a workable table of contents on the side. So this is um, you call org org side tree from from Meta X, and you get this this handy kind of table of contents tree overview of the present buffer. And if you want to go to a heading, you click return and you jump to that heading, or you can click with the mouse and jump to the heading as well. So it's a pretty handy overview right there. Um, it is auto updating. So uh, the title here is in the, the headline. So you can do org side tree test buffer and that'll update. And if you add new new headline or heading, that'll also update. And you can, you know, update the the to dos, the priorities, um, you know, promote, demote, all that, all that good stuff. And it also, uh, if you use org num mode with the with the numbering, then they update as well. Um, let's see what it looks like with that off. Um, okay, so that's the updating, and it up, it updates on an idle timer that you can kind of uh, customize to your specifications. And as you move around in the buffer, the uh, the cursor also moves along in the side tree. Okay, in the side tree itself, as I showed, you can move around with control N, control P, and jump to, to a heading, uh, but using N and P performs um, what's called org side tree jump, where it, you know, it kind of scrolls through the, the base buffer uh, document. And the, the position of the heading is controlled by this variable here. So it's currently 25% from, from the top, but you can also set it to uh, top if you want. Uh, oh, let's, let's set that recenter position. Set to top. We'll just show you what that looks like. Okay, so now see that is slightly different um, but let's set it back that's not working oh, set Q that's why yeah. um, okay and you can also do narrow on jump to uh, narrow to the subtree that you are scrolling through or jumping to um, so it's kind of like a almost like a slideshow. Uh, from the side buffer, side tree, you can also update to-dos and priorities. Um, and you can, hold on, let's narrow, there we go. Um, and you can also, um, rearrange. Theoretically, why are you not rearranging? Oh, because it's narrowed. You can't rearrange when you're narrowed. Oh, okay. So there, and you can promote and demote appropriately. Um, finally, you can fold in the side tree window and the folding is persistent as well. So if you're working on a specific section and you wanna fold the others out of your way, that's totally possible. Uh, performance uh, gets a little bit sluggish 
when you have a lot of headings, and by a lot I mean like uh, the testing I did was on a buffer with uh, two and a half thousand headings, and it was just a little bit of typing lag. The update was still pretty quick, uh, but you can toggle off the folding, and that tends to help with performance. Uh, you can also toggle off auto update as well, so that you don't get the um, you know the moving headline, but everything else still works pretty nicely. But you know if you do a, a to do, then it updates just the next time that you um, go into the buffer, into the side window rather. Um, so um, in the name of performance, but but really that's only for really big org documents. And if you bury the buffer, then performance goes right back to to normal. So um, if that's if that's an issue, there are some ways of, of dealing with it. Uh, maybe there are some ways to, to optimize the code if anybody has any ideas about that. But uh, until then, that's about it.